good morning it is a nice warm minus three degrees celsius this morning um we have had a brisket i put on the smoker at four o'clock this morning going so far it uh, uh was seasoned about 18 hours ago or prior to being put on the smoker um and uh we seasoned it with even parts of kosher salt black pepper uh, garlic powder and onion salt. Uh, we're just coming out to do our first pellet checks. I didn't have a full hopper of pellets when I put it on this morning. Sorry about this, trying to get this camera to hold steady um, with my hook, but it's not working well. All right, well, we'll have to go like this. So, just doing a quick pellet check and a good thing because it looks like we are getting pretty low. All right, here's how the pellets are looking. Getting pretty low. I didn't have a full hopper when I started, uh, so we're gonna get some more pellets in there and we'll give it a quick look, see how it's doing. It'll be, uh, we've been ha having it on at uh, 200 Fahrenheit on our Pit Boss pellet grill here. See that? And uh, there's settings right down there. We had it at 200. It's currently sitting at 200, uh, according to the internal probe there. Uh, probe one, don't read that. That's this probe sitting right here. Um, that's just one of the meat probes, but uh, where it just changed to 195 there, that's the actual internal probe that it uses to maintain temperature. So uh, I'll load some more pellets in there and uh, and uh, we'll take a quick look at it after. Quick little shot of my doggo here. That's Coco. Nice little chocolate lab. We have a new toy for her today. It's a harness for these GoPros. We'll do an unboxing and, uh, and a review video of that. See how it works out for her. Uh, got a buddy there. He loves to say that uh, the dog's full send all the time. And so I think we'll get some really neat footage off of her being crazy as she always is. Anyways, I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, uh, we've got the hopper full. Uh, what we see there. It holds about 20 pound pail worth of pellets. Um, I buy uh, uh, these Master Chef ones out of Canadian Tire, uh, 40 pound bags. I get usually two hoppers filled, fill a hopper and fill a 20 pound bucket with it. And uh, it'll do me a few cooks. And uh, I don't know, they, may, they do a decent smoke and stuff. I'd like to get some actual apple wood, stuff like that. Uh, I got some uh, uh, some pig that I'm going to be doing here when it gets nicer out. Uh, I got some bacon, uh, just like pork bellies that I'm going to be making into bacon, uh, stuff like that. Uh, purchased a pig earlier this uh, winter here, so we'll uh, we'll see how, how that goes when that comes, when it comes time to start doing that. But let's take a quick look. Yeah, it's looking not too bad. It looks like it's starting to get an okay bark on it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty decent. I think we'll leave it at where it's at for now. And uh, we're going to pull it up to about uh, about the 165 um, temp there, where usually, like they say, is usually a stall. And then I'm going to wrap it in parchment paper. We'll crank up the heat, pull it up to about 205, check for tenderness, and then she's ready to rest and then cut and cook or cut and eat i mean all right let's uh that's it for now and we'll check it out later good afternoon now it is uh just after 12 it's like 12 15 12 20 right now i just put the meat probe into the uh brisket and it's well we're past the 165 already we're actually at uh looks like uh 173 right here let's see right right there um, yeah, 173. Uh, we've been sitting at 200 the entire time, just letting her roast away, smoke away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off now. We're gonna, well, we're gonna check the bark, see how it's doing. It's looking really good. We're gonna take it off. We're gonna take it into the house, wrap it in some parchment paper. I, for some reason, have a really hard time trying to find butcher wrap uh, around my place, but. Uh, I find parchment paper tends to work just as well. Um, it works very well anyways. And uh, 
we'll wrap it and then we'll throw it back on and we'll bring her up to about you know the 205 range and see how it does we'll probably leave it sitting at 200 for a few more hours just because we are still pretty early in the day for for dinner here yet and then i'll probably move it up to about 250 for the last little bit and uh, we'll let her finish off and then bring it in let it rest for a bit and cut into it see how it goes so let's get this thing off this uh, smoker all right there it is it is looking good pull the meat probe out just leave that sitting there look at the juice just come out of there now I know there's a lot of people out there who's going to say this is not a full brisket, blah blah blah, and that is true, it isn't. It's uh, There's only me, the, my wife, and my daughter that's going to be eating, and this is a brisket we actually bought uh, at the begin before winter really hit, and we'd already cut it in half and smoked the, uh, the flat part um back then and this is what would be called the point and that was really hot a little bit of paper towel was not enough but whatever i burn myself all the time so you know we'll survive but look at that like oh is that ever looking good we got really nice that's actually crunchy bark already um by putting it in parchment paper instead of uh in tin foil um, the experts say that we'll keep a crunchier bark which is what I like I don't like the bark softening up so uh, we'll get this in the house and uh, start getting it wrapped in some parchment paper look at those juices just flow all right we'll uh, see you back in a couple seconds all right so we're in the house now with the brisket we are going to lift that up and onto our parchment paper um, because we don't have butcher wrap again, um, I'm using three layers of parchment paper. I think if you had actual butcher wrap, um, two layers would probably be enough. Uh, and our parchment paper is not quite wide enough for this chunk of brisket, so I'm going to lay a couple sideways just to kind of cap off the ends as we wrap the rest of this. Um, that is going to be hot. I did wash my hook so it is safe to fend all food. Um, let's just do this quick. Oh, it wasn't too bad. All right, so we're going to start this by wrapping the sides. And I have another piece right here to get this side as well. And just wrap that really tight. You want super, ah, that works well. You want it super tight, you want it to hold in those juices and more so hold in the heat to push the meat past that stall. So all meat, when you're dealing with big chunks like this, will hit what is called a stall. Basically it's a point, to my understanding anyways, where the meat starts to produce quite a bit of moisture and it it uh, holds a lot of the temperature um, internally, but doesn't really, uh, it doesn't heat up anymore. And it'll eventually always push through that stall on its own, but you never know, you know, you never, never really know when that's gonna happen. It's, right? It could add hours onto your cook, depending on the piece of meat you're actually using. And so, uh, so what we do is we wrap it and that just kind of holds that heat and forces it through the stall and kind of forces it to build up that, that temperature and get past that. So now I'm just trying to get this wrapped in here super tight. And so the paper will stay, and if I actually fold this over, it will, but it's taking me a minute. 
problem with parchment paper is it's waxy as well, so it wants to really slide around. I really need to get myself on, into some butcher wrap, and uh, hopefully you could actually even hear me out for all that. If not, I'll voice over in editing. But there's our wrap. And now we're going to take this back outside, throw it back on the smoker. I'm going to leave it at 200 for a bit longer because we are quite early in the day so we're not in a rush to get it up to temperature or up to eating. Um, it is 12.30 right now so leave the smoker at 200, let it cook, let it get up there and then like I say later on, you know maybe in an hour or two we'll move it up to 250, bring it up to that roughly 205 range. Let's probe it a few times, see how, how it's doing for tenderness, and then take it off, let it rest, cut it up, and, and you know, eat. Enjoy it. Okay, it's a little over 4.30 now, so this uh, uh, brisket uh, tip has been um, smoking for, or cooking for just a hair over 12 hours. Uh, what are we at? Oh, look at that. We're actually right at the 205 goal that we were hitting or aiming for. So it's right there, 205 on probe one. And we've been cooking at 250. Our actual right now is 200. So and we're a little low right now, but uh, it just dumped a bunch of new pallets in. You can see by the smoke uh, coming out. So let's see what our pellet usage has been like here. Here's my bottle of water. And um, I turned up the temperature to 250 at about 230, and we wrapped it at about 1230. So it ran for another couple hours at uh, 200 after we wrapped it, and then we moved it to 250. Here's what our pellet situation is like after we filled up uh, this morning. Um, you know, you use quite a few pellets. Uh, definitely the hotter the temps, the more pellets you go through per time frame. Um, but, you know, it's when you want a good cook and lots of, lots of smoke, it's what you got to go through, right? So let's see how this is going. And we'll probe it a couple times, see how tender it's looking. So let's uh, show you here, just open it up. Just uh, stick this probe in a couple times, get through the paper, through the bark, and then once you're in there, like, get rough. That is like butter. There is, uh, there is no resistance on this probe whatsoever. Like, none. Alright, I think we're, uh, we're definitely going to call it good. We'll stick it over here as well through the paper and uh yeah going through the meat there's nothing no resistance whatsoever i think this is going to be pretty tender here yeah, so we'll just uh grab our probe through here the storage and get, pick this up here put you in try to make it so i can film this while you know, see me lifting it off the smoker here Oh, that is hot, and we just dumped a bunch of juices. But we'll put it back inside this glass tray that we had it on. We'll shut off our smoker. See here. So I'll just turn it right off there, and then turn the main power off. Uh, this will run still for another five or ten minutes. Um, well, it drops the uh, temperature on the smoker and burns out the remaining uh, pellets um, that are in the in the burn chamber right now and uh, and then it'll auto shut off the remainder like the, all it is is the fan running right now burning off those extra pellet or those pellets and getting it cleaned out uh, we'll bring this into the house we'll uh, well, 4.30, about dinner time here coming up. So I think what we'll end up doing is just uh, letting it rest uh, like it is uh, in the house for half an hour while we get the rest of the dinner ready. And then we'll slice it open, see how it looks. See you in a few more seconds. Okay, so 
this thing has been resting for uh, about a half an hour. There's a lot of juice in there and it's hot. Um, well, yeah, half hour, maybe a little bit better. Time to open it up, see how it looks, and see how it cuts. We got juice getting everywhere. Look at that. It's a little messy, but look at that juice. Well, might have held in too much juice and our bark kind of kind of went soft, but it looks really good still. So it's not a it's not going to be a crispy bark or a harder bark. But that is quite all right. Look at how that looks. All right. Just move this over here a little bit. Give my hand a quick wipe. Okay, now I have no idea where the grain is on this thing. I think we're just going to give her a slice uh, this way. Let's see what we get into. Look at that juice. Woo, man. Alright, cut the end off. That is going through easy. Look at that. Got a really nice smoke ring going here. Bit of, bit of fat going on. That's good. The juice pouring out of this thing is just crazy. It's nice and tender. Nice going through it easy as you can tell. How that looks. Look at that. All right. See a lot of people, they're like, oh, well, you got to see the bend test and see how well it bends over a knife. Look at that. Just moves like crazy, bends really easy. Let's see if we can pull it. I might need your help here, but let's just do it with a fork. Do a little pull test, see how that pulls apart. Oh, can't hold it very well. well it pulls, but it's it's got a good fat layer right there that's kind of holding it together. But it does pull. Let's see how it tastes. Cut that, and you cut it with a fork. So, hey, eh, that's never all that bad, right? Mmm. That is tender. Got a really nice smoke flavor to it. The seasonings working really nice. I did just a kosher salt and uh, black pepper on my last one, and it was fairly peppery. With having the onion powder and the garlic powder in there as well. Gives it that little extra kind of bite. Um, the moisture, the juice, just insane. And it just kind of melts in your mouth. That is delicious. We're gonna enjoy the heck out of this. If you liked watching how we made this brisket, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, Hit the, you know, the bell button to get your notifications, and uh, we'll keep cooking. Thanks for watching.